growing up we all heard dozens of myths, legends, and old wives tales about animals. So many in fact that to this day a lot of people still believe them. So in this episode I'll do my best to set a few of these stories straight. My name is Jason Miller and you're watching 5 Weird Animal Facts. Number 1. Touching a toad can give you warts. This is one of those myths that has no real clear logic behind it. Warts are gross rough bumps on the skin caused by human papillomavirus or HPV, a virus that can only be transmitted between humans. That's why it's called human papillomavirus and not human and toad papillomavirus. This myth may have originated from people seeing the two large bumps behind a toad's head and confusing them with warts, even though they really don't look like warts at all. These bumps are called paratoid glands, and even though they don't transmit the HPV virus, they do release a milky white liquid called bufotoxin. Bufotoxin is a defense mechanism to avoid being eaten by predators, and different species have different levels of toxicity. The poison of some species, such as the Colorado River Toad and my friend here the Cane Toad, can cause mild hallucinations when ingested. In fact, some people even lick toads' paratoid glands for their psychoactive properties. I strongly advise against licking toads because even though hallucinating sounds fun, puking and dying does not. Right buddy? Number 2. Bats are blind. We've all heard the expression, blind as a bat, and although many bats are nocturnal and have very small eyes, none of the roughly 1,100 species is blind. There are two main groups of bat, Microchiroptera and Megachiroptera. Microchiroptera are small nocturnal bats that rely mostly on echolocation and sharp hearing to navigate. That being said, their vision is still fairly good and can be used to better navigate over long distances. Megachiroptera, on the other hand, are medium to large sized bats that eat mostly fruit and nectar so they never really needed to evolve echolocation and instead use both their strong sense of smell and, wait for it, their vision. These diurnal bats have large eyes with color vision, which helps them locate ripe fruit and flowering plants. So bats weren't really the best choice when picking a metaphor about blindness. Number 3. Female praying mantises eat the male's heads after mating. Okay, this one is sorta kinda true, but only sometimes. Mantids are opportunistic carnivores some species being much more opportunistic slash aggressive than others. And cannibalism is definitely not off the table for these small but powerful predators. When more aggressive species of mantis such as the Chinese mantis or the giant African mantis mate, the female will occasionally eat the male after he has impregnated her. However, this happens much more often in captivity than it does in the wild. Male mantids are smaller and are able to fly away from potentially deadly females after breeding. But in captivity, the male really has nowhere to run, so he occasionally ends up being a meal for his former lover. But again, this is all very circumstantial and species dependent and in no way is it necessary for the male to be eaten in order to have a successful pregnancy. It's like in humans how 50% of marriages end in divorce, and mantids 50% of marriages end in cannibalism. Number 4. Goldfish have a 3 second memory. This myth was probably conceived as a way to justify keeping a goldfish in a small fishbowl. With a 3 second memory, every lap around the bowl is like a whole new experience. Unfortunately, this isn't the case. Animals require some form of long-term memory in order to build up knowledge of where to find food, where their nest is, etc. And multiple experiments have been done proving that goldfish can retain memories, be trained to accomplish tasks, and even solve simple mazes. So please spend the extra 10 bucks and get your goldfish a decent sized tank, will ya? Number 5. Daddy long legs are venomous, but their fangs are too short to break through human skin. Before we dive deeper into this fable, I need to point out that there are two different arachnids that are commonly referred referred to as daddy long legs. The first are also known as harvestmen, arachnids that are not actually spiders but are in a completely different order called opolionis. The best way to tell a harvestman from a spider is to look at the body segments. All spiders have two separate body segments. Harvestmen, on the other hand, have fused body segments causing the body to appear as a single oval shape. They can't produce webs and also don't have venom glands, so that completely eliminates the possibility of them being deadly. The other arachnid most commonly referred to as a daddy long leg is the cellar spider. Unlike the harvestmen, cellar spiders are actual spiders, they spin webs and they produce venom. This venom, however, is very weak. The myth goes that daddy long leg fangs are too short to penetrate human skin. This is also completely false. A cellar spider's fangs are 0.25 millimeters long, while human skin is 0.1 millimeters thick. People have been bitten many times by cellar spiders, and the worst effect is a very mild burning sensation that goes away after a few seconds. So how did this myth originate? 
Who knows? Kids in my elementary school used it as a way to justify ripping the legs off of Harvest Men because they thought it was funny to see my reaction. I was a sensitive boy. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what animals and topics you want to see in future episodes. Like and share this video and subscribe to Animal Bites TV for more awesome animal things and stuff. Check me out on all my social media garbage and until next time my friends, my name is Jason Miller and I'll see you next Monday on 5 Weird Animal Facts.